What is up team? Today we got the package I ordered. Uh, we are going to swap out a sensor that gave this vehicle a check engine light. Which would be the lock sensor, detonation center, sensor. Ugh. So this is the bad boy that's giving the vehicle a check the code, an emissions code that won't pass uh, the California state emissions meaning I'm not able to register the vehicle or renew any uh, plates for the following year so the car could be driven in the state of California, in the roads of the state of California. I got the coffee ready because it's kind of chilly out here in Palmdale. And we're going to start by jacking up the vehicle on both sides. Uh, so your sensor are pretty complex. Uh, the job it does uh, detects any abnormality. Uh, let's the computer know if it has to adjust the timing. Uh, because it has to adjust timing, uh, sometimes you'll get uh, like that rough acceleration. Like once you're going past 40, it feels like it's struggling. Uh, and so essentially that's what this sensor does. And you lose uh, points in your fuel mileage. Now on this Honda, this sensor is located right under the manifold, the intake manifold. Uh, should be right above the oil filter. So we do have to remove the oil filter uh, Essentially, we're gonna we would have to just do an oil change. I'm doing an oil change regardless. So we're gonna go through a process I'm gonna make it pretty simple to understand what you have to do exactly. So let's start by checking up the vehicle Add your jack stance on the mounting points of the vehicle Let it drop I'll leave the jack there for uh, extra support, just in case. Now let's head under. This is my view from under the vehicle. There is one tire. That is the downpipe. That leads to the cat converter. This is your axle that hooks up onto the transmission. That's the oil filter, see on top, that's your uh, intake manifold. And right behind that filter, once you remove the filter, we're gonna see that it's right behind that. So don't worry guys. Honda makes it easier where it lets you know where the drain pan, uh, the oil drain plug for the engine oil is at. So it's pretty easy. I'm, I'm gonna skip that process. I'm gonna go straight to uh, removing the filter. Obviously I'm gonna change the oil, you're not gonna see it. And I'm gonna show you where that sensor is at. All right, cool. Let me show you guys something real quick. Look what I had to go through to remove this oil filter. I'm going to say something real quick, guys. Just a tip. Do not over tighten your filters. It's all it is. It's just hand twist. Just your strongest as you can twist. And that's it. Look what I had to go through to remove this. It was on there so tight. I had to, I had to use, you know, these uh, lock pliers with teeth on them. Like, come on, guys. I should not be... You should not be, anyone should not be going through that. So don't do that. Okay, guys, just tip. All right, so here we are at the bottom. See here, that's the filter housing. That's where you thread on your filter. Right above that, you see that? That is the oil pressure sensor. Okay, now you see that connection all, let me see if I get some better light, all the way there, that is your knock sensor. That thing is kind of in the way. Let me see if I could get a better zoom into that. Uh, that is your knock sensor all the way right above there. That is a size 27 uh, millimeter socket to remove that. So let's remove that. Disconnect and then remove. So you want a flathead to kind of push that flathead into that clip and then slide out with your other hand. You could use two flatheads. That helps. There is the sensor. That would be, like I said, a 27 millimeter socket. So let's ins insert that socket. One of the situations here is I'm going to have to remove that PCV hose. That right there is your PCV valve. You might as well replace it while doing that. So let's get that out of the way. So that was the sensor broke on me. It was on there so tight. That's not even funny, yo. This is freaking ridiculous. And so I managed to get it up there. It's really hard. You might have to, you're going to have to remove that PCV valve with the line from the top. It's easier if you do that just to get out of the way. So now we're gonna slide that back in there. Let's see if you can get a good view. 
uh, where it's at. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to get some view. I doubt it with the light, but. Yes! Right there. Yes! Right there. Just beyond that pipe. See that? Sorry, but that's the best image I could do. Alright, let's uh, get rid of that. Alright, so as I'm getting that piece, that new PCV valve in, there's our new uh, our new uh, sensor knock sensor. Now to remove that PCV valve, you're gonna have to loosen the hose that that connects to the manifold. Once you remove, disconnect that hose. It's easier to disconnect that PCV valve. Uh, the job's kind of complicated. Well, and we hook it back up, and we're done. New PCV valve, new knock sensor. Uh, I added the reservoir back on the old one, ordered a new one later, added some coolant. We're going to hook up the cables and we're going to start her up. So we're going to hook up the positive and the negative. Cool. Let's go to the... Let's uh, turn around. Open the garage. Let me get started. Here it goes. Ooh. There you go. And there you go, guys. No check engine light. Car is riding smooth. It's riding good. This is awesome. Put some high beams on. Cool guys, so you already know. Thanks, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. It wasn't an easy job, but we got it done.